Hello all. Uh, a viewer uh, asked me to uh, do a video on how I uh, remove noise uh, from um, my audio um, from the talking part. Um, first of all, I'd like to start off by saying it's uh, I use a generic off-the-shelf um, microphone. It's a Logitech headset with a mic on it. Nothing special about it. Um, and your hardware, uh, mine's just onboard audio, uh, the real tech, um, variety, Intel, that kind of thing. So nothing special on this end. And if you want to have good, really good sounding audio, you're going to have to spend the money on a good sound card and a, a really good microphone. Uh, with that said, uh, there are tools you can do to clean up the audio a bit. Um, but remember the principle garbage in garbage out. So if it's staticky or if there's lots of noise while you're talking, like a lot of noise, then it's you, there's not much you can do. Okay, so what I've done, just to give you an example, let's open the videos here. So I recorded three example files. One using FFmpeg, that's command line. Kazam, uh, you may know Kazam. That's like a GUI recorder, and so is uh, Record My Desktop. And each one has a specific output. This one is MKV, this one's MP4, and this one's OGV. So let's fire up uh, Audacity. This is what I use. And we'll take the first example, the MKV, and you can just drag it right into the window of Audacity. And it'll just show you the audio portion. Now, on visual inspection, you can see that the audio level is extremely low. But we can fix that. So click on a blank area here, for example. And then go to Effects. And down to Normalize. Leave everything as default, checked, and say press OK. Now you can see visually that it's up pretty good. Uh, you can do a test and play it back, etc. Now for other parts, like here, obviously this is there's no talking here. And, you, and by the way, you should give yourself some time before you st uh, start saying anything so you can get rid of some noise right away. And just from me knowing myself, uh, this here and here and probably in here are me taking a breath, which drives me around the bend uh, when I listen back to it. So what I do is go to Effect, Noise Removal, Get Noise Profile. Uh, noise Reduction in uh, DB is 24. That's the default. So just get Get Noise Profile. And that dialog will close. And now you highlight the whole audio portion again. Go back to effect, noise removal, and instead of get noise profile, you hit OK. Now that happens fairly quick because it's a very short clip. But you can see already that the this beginning here, there's some, the noise has been reduced and uh, the little parts in between. Now if you want to go a little further, and before you say anything, you can check it by just playing. Press, just pressing the play button, but just by looking at it, you can tell that there's not much here, but there is a bit of noise. So we'll just go to generate silence and say OK. Now there's nothing there. It's completely silent. Same with the end, too. You want to give yourself some time at the end. Uh, there's a bit of noise, probably a mouse click or something. So again, generate silence. You press OK. Now that's gone. And when you're happy with it, you play through the uh, file. You just go to File, Export, and you have options to export it as just a WAV file or um, OGG, FLAC, etc. So you can choose MP3 and go to Options. And if you're doing stuff like YouTube, that's pretty good. Good enough for voice. Quality is 128 and constant bitrate, and hit OK. So I hit save, it'll automatically put the MP3 on the name. You can name it anything you want. So save, 
You fill in stuff here you like and then hit OK. And it's done. And there it is there. Because I told it to save in the video folder. So you can open that with say uh, VLC Media Player. And the reason I like to use VLC Media Player okay, it's a quick test. is it's a quick test. sorry about that. That's really loud. Um, is you go to Tools, Codec Information, it'll tell you sample rate 48. That's a little high actually, and bit rate is 128, and that's what you want. And we'll close this. All right, so close that. It's the same process with the Kazam recording of M MP4, MP4. However, if you use uh, record my desktop, that outputs an OGV uh, Audacity. As far as I know, unless you maybe there's some plugins for it, won't accept OGV. And there's lots of uh, command line options. I like to use uh, any. There's a whole bunch of transcoders. Say this one, trans mega, make whatever. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. Um, so choose an input file. There it is. Record my desktop. That OGV. Say open. And output format. Now we know it takes uh, MKV, AVI, so let's uh, do M MP4, MPEG4. Uh, audio co codec, you can uh, choose MP3 right, right away if you want, or just leave it at AAC. That's fine, and just go transcode. Shouldn't take too long, because the, sh the clip is really short. Longer clips are going to take much longer, a few minutes at least. When you're done, you just close the window. And now you have an MP4. Let's open that with uh, VLC. We go to codec information. Now you see the video. As I said, it was H.264 MP4. And the resolution is uh, 1280 by 720. And it's 44 um, kilohertz for um, the audio. Just a quick check. So I'll close this down. And now we should be able to take this, record my desktop file, and drag it in to Audacity. There it is. Now, problem. Not not your problem, my problem. <laughs> is I made a mistake. You see the project rate in Hertz? It says 44. Um, I'm sorry. No, that's right. It, not the project rate. I'm sorry. My mistake. Is... uh. I forgot to tell record my desktop uh, to record in stereo, two channels. So what I do is go to tracks, add new, stereo, and I highlight this and go to edit. If you want, just to visually show, copy, and then down here highlight this new track, stereo, edit, paste. Now you have. Simulated stereo, anyway. So I can close this uh, mono one. And again, low volume, so we go to effect, normalize, OK, and then the rest is what I explained about uh, removing the noise. OK? So we'll close that. No. And I think that's about all. That's about all you uh, that I do. Nothing too fancy. Just, you know. Simple as I can get it. Uh, like I said, I don't have professional equipment uh, to work with, and just you know, do the best you can with what you have. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks to the viewer for suggesting uh, such a great topic. And as always, uh, any questions, just feel free to add, add your comments or questions. And uh, that's it for now. So thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye for now.